Welcome to Trip Tips, everybody. You are one of the awesome people who actually do their research, and because of that, you're gonna be prepared. In this video, I wanna share with you a whole bunch of things you probably didn't know about 2CB. Little risks and strange features exclusive to this crazy chemical. Did you know that there's actually two types of 2CB? There's 2CBHCl and 2CBHBr. And the HCl is about 15% more potent by weight, which means that you need less of it to trip just as hard. 30mg of the HCl is the same in effect as almost 35mg of 2CBHBr. Do not snort 2CB pills. They'll have a lot of shit in them that's really bad for your nose. If you really do want to snort 2CB, then use powder instead, and be aware that snorting 2CB hurts like a motherfucker. This is especially true if you have the HCL. 2CB HBR still burns a lot, but it won't be as bad as the HCL. Either way, this probably isn't a drug you want in your nose unless you're a really hardcore psychonaut. Even then, there's much better, healthier, and less painful for alternatives with very similar effects. At doses above 40 mg, not only will you be tripping balls, but you should also be expecting a powerful body load and maybe even some nausea. I recommend supplements like ginger and CBD just to name a few to help you out with that. 2CB tolerance is really weird and inconsistent. I've done a lot of research and I haven't found anything definitive. Personally, I've tripped two days in a row without any tolerance problems, nor have I ever noticed tolerance with 2CB, but many people have. It's generally accepted that it builds less tolerance in LSD or mushrooms for less time, but there's no real consensus and it depends on the dose anyway. I'd give it at least a week and preferably two weeks in between your trips regardless, but if you are gonna redose or trip again soon, do not increase your dose to account for tolerance because it seems likely that you won't have much if any. Having said that, oral 2CB can take a while to come up, especially if you've eaten recently before dosing. I've had a 2CB trip take 3 hours to peak, so do not get impatient and redose like I and many others have done, because 10 minutes later you'll be tripping balls and you'll have another dose coming up. If you can, then get powder instead of pills. Most pills are gonna be underdosed and there's really no way to know the dose of your pill for sure without getting it sent for testing. They're almost never the dose they're advertised as. Most fall between five and 20 mg, though they can also be much higher or lower, so don't take two pills for your first time. 2CB dosages are exponential, which means that two pills will be a fair amount more than twice as intense as one pill. You could see a doubling in intensity or more just from 20 to 30 mg. But everyone's different, so take it slow and see what works for you. A lot of people might also claim that 2CB isn't mentally intense, even at the high doses, but whilst this can be true, it does not apply to everyone. High doses of 2CB can be just as mentally powerful as LSD. Make sure to research any combinations, there are substances that could be dangerous if combined with 2CB. And even physically safe substances like weed can intensify your trip more than right-wingers intensify tax cuts on the rich. So research any individual combinations you might be partaking in. Make sure you've got an awesome set and setting, I mean that is what this channel's about, so hit the subscribe button if you're new. It's really vital that you trip somewhere comfortable and safe. A lot of people might take 2CB in a bad environment because they've been told it feels like MDMA. Yeah, it has some similarities, but don't forget that it's still a powerful psychedelic. And last but not least, just do some reading. Read this page, go check out my 2CB effects by dose series, read some trip reports, and generally educate yourself as much as possible. The more of it you do, the more comfortable and productive your trip is likely to be. There just might be some more points pinned below as a top comment in case I've forgotten any, so scroll down just in case. Otherwise, I hope this was useful, and if you learned something new, then hit the like button and maybe click one of the videos on the screen. See you all next week.